In this video, we're going to find the surface area of a spherical balloon. So to start off, we just have our sphere here, and we're going to draw two great circles around the outside of it. A great circle is the largest circle you can draw around a sphere in a plane that passes through the center of the sphere. So we can imagine the planes that these great circles are in using this shading. So let's imagine that there's a green plane and a red plane, and where they intersect the sphere, we're coloring them in. Um, where the two planes intersect, they form an angle. So this angle theta is shown here, and then the distance from the center of the sphere to the outside is always r, so I've also added that. Now we can imagine on the surface of the sphere, this intersection can be colored in like this. And what we have here is a loon. Because we're on a sphere, this is technically a spherical loon. And we want to find the surface area of this space. So how we can do that is using this formula. S equals 2 r squared theta. So at the bottom, I have a little example here. It's really as simple as just plugging these values in. So we're going to do s equals 2 times 7 squared times pi over 6. Plug that into your calculator, and you get 51.31 units squared. So. Really pretty simple. Um, the cool thing though is that if we remove this and say r is just 5, doesn't really matter, but then say we set theta equal to 2 pi. So we take theta and we wrap it around the entire circle. When we rewrite our surface area formula, it's going to be 2 r squared times 2 pi, and then that's going to equal 4 pi r squared, which you should recognize as the surface area of a sphere formula. So pretty, uh, pretty interesting, but it makes sense. I also wanted to point out that this formula for the surface area of a loon, it requires that the angle value be in radians. So I have another practice problem here where the angle is given in degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out our formula. And then we're going to add in just a little conversion factor here. So pi over 180. Now we can plug in everything as normal times 8.5 squared pi over 180. And then if we plug this in, what we're going to get is 75.66 centimeters squared. So just remember that if you have a degree value, you just need to add this pi over 180 to the formula.